Well, we think um, after a pretty significant uh, reopening boost in first quarter, it's pretty clear that they're fighting some deflationary pressures. And it's quite possible that for the July CPI number that's going to come out pretty soon, we might see an outright deflation number. Um, so basically slightly negative inflation compared to a year ago. And that's really what uh, matters for the economy, we think. We're talking about an economy where demographic profile is becoming more challenging. And uh, as um, uh, we highlighted just before, the geopolitical uh, environment will even get worse next year because the U.S. is now entering a presidential election season. So it's really important for them to put forward a credible reflation plan uh, in which they use inflation as a bit of cushion. Um, right now, market's still debating on how effective the current uh, uh, package that put forward by the leadership could be. And, uh, uh, and it makes sense that the markets are struggling to find the direction at the moment. But we do think uh, they're going to come up with a slightly more uh, concrete measures but in the coming I mean, weeks. You think they're going to go deflationary almost immediately? Uh, in July numbers, for sure, the CPI inflation will be negative, in our view, because X factory prices, uh, if you look at them, are uh, deeply negative. So that's going to affect the goods numbers. Uh, so the July CPI uh, inflation will be slightly negative. Now, we still expect... Uh, you know, the inflation numbers rebound a little bit toward the end of the year, but the risk around the scenario has risen, uh, given the weak inflation numbers so far, with the deleveraging dynamic for the consumers and private businesses. So it's very important for the leadership pushes back pretty hard and, you know, achieve at least a level of positive inflation going forward. Okay. What if right now, because we're seeing that deflationary fear, and, you know, you, you mentioned input prices, and we know they're in the hole. But what if we do get any kind of substantive stimulus? And even if it's just, you know, what people don't necessarily want all that much, you know, in terms of more infrastructure, more and more substantive money going into uh, the system, the impact that would then have on commodity prices would be significant because right now commodity prices are, are betting on a recession. So we've got crude prices that are on an upward run and all these measures that are being put into place by OPEC to constrict supply. We've got then, if that was to be the case, base metals and the like will absolutely start ripping. Is that not inflationary enough in terms of what that could then mean for China managed to eke out of deflation a little bit because obviously all the prices would have to go up and then I suppose the, the requisite impact that could have more globally because it's good news for China but it's probably bad news for everyone else that has this expectation the Fed's going to stop. Well, for China, I think what really matters is the domestic conditions. Uh, I mean, we, we could potentially have a feedback loop between the external commodity prices and the internal uh, domestic inflation at some point in the future, but that's not the primary concern at this point, especially with the CPI inflation almost you know, at zero right now and potentially uh, set to fall to uh, negative territory. Um, uh, but uh, as you said, a uh, proper stimulus push would uh, indeed generate a significant upside for commodity prices. Commodity prices have stabilized a little bit, but we haven't seen a massive rally yet. So that's an indication that the markets are still skeptical about how effective the new uh, stimulus measures could be. Now, we still think uh, it's going to change a little bit going forward because they haven't announced concrete measures for local government debt and the infrastructure push. So we think that's on the horizon. Uh, but for the game-changing stimulus, uh, uh, you know, the debate is still on, and uh, that's, it's, there are some uncertainties, for yeah, sure. 